Welcome to Seeds Growing with God Seed Pod, the number one way you please God, where we journey together through the Bible from Genesis to Revelations to reveal the blessings in God's Word for all of us. Well, as humans, because we are made in God's image, we desire to please others to express that we care for them and what they think and how they feel. Pleasing someone can be a physical or an emotional action, but most importantly, it makes others know you care for them and causes them to care more for you. Why is that? Because pleasing someone is a form of love. They and you both feel when the action of pleasing someone occurs. There is no greater way to show God you love him than to please him with your every word and action. The first thing we need to understand is that the Bible is the most powerful book ever written or that ever will be written. It can save the sinner and motivate the saved to save the souls of others, leading them to know Jesus Christ. Okay, let's get this clear. It's real important. Jesus calls every Christian to step out in faith and spread the good news. The gospel brings good tidings to everyone who will hear it. It offers eternal life to everyone who believes. We as Christians are compelled to obey this commandment. It is the great commission of who we are as a child of God. We are designed solely to win the souls of the lost. It is Jesus' command to all his followers and disciples to spread his teachings to all nations of the world. It is a personal instruction from Jesus and a special calling to his disciples. So saving souls is not just, hey, do you want to go to church with me? Or here, I got this Bible so you can read it. To save souls means you invest your time in others as God does for others as he did in you to get you on your path to eternal life. Understand that no matter what strong, God-inspired warrior you are, you always must seek spiritual guidance from God and others. You are a vessel of the Word without limits, sharing the Holy Spirit. You will never know all the knowledge there is to know and experience about God's wonderful blessings and wisdom because we are all unworthy, and there is only one all-seeing and all-knowing Lord and Savior. So, do you know what scriptures inspire you to share your faith in Jesus Christ? Every Christian should know at least some powerful scriptures so that he or she knows what God expects from him or her. Let's get something clear, and this is your sole purpose. It is to bring souls to Christ once you have been saved. Or even if you haven't been saved yet, but the seed of God has been planted in you, just sharing that with others may bring them to want to know Jesus Christ just as you did. Since winning souls is more important to God than anything you will ever do and is the highest calling that God expects of you as his child, it is your sole purpose when you are saved to save others. How are you going to go about doing that? Well, if you are saved and don't bring others to Christ, will you lose your salvation? Do you know? Do you know how to bring up the topic of Jesus Christ to anyone? Do you know how to save someone's soul and lead them to Jesus Christ? Now we're going to explore scriptures that remind us of God's command for us to share the gospel and the urgency of our commission. Souls hang in the balance. All of his children and your brothers and sisters are at risk of death, bypassing eternal life. You need to focus and meditate upon these scriptures and they will provoke you to surrender to obedience and the action of bringing others to the kingdom of heaven with you. Once you get over the initial fear of sharing your faith, you will be forever grateful that you won souls to Christ and wonder why you didn't do it earlier. Remember, everything happens in God's perfect timing. Let's get started with the scripture of Daniel 12.3. Those who might have insight will shine brightly like the brightness of the expanse of the heaven and those who lead the many to the righteous like the stars forever and ever. Did you catch that? This scripture is showing you that if you know the word of God, the light inside of you, the Lord and Savior, will be noticed and shine for others to see as far away as the stars and will do so for eternity. He will be waiting for you in heaven. But if you lead others to know Jesus Christ, then you are building up the rewards of his blessings abundantly. 
as you are expanding his kingdom of heaven and leading his children to salvation. Let's look at another scripture of Romans 10.1. Brethren, my heart's desire and my prayer to God for them is for their salvation. This scripture speaks clearly that your heart is to desire and pray for to God for the salvation of all others always. Moving to the next scripture of Matthew 28.19, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. In this scripture, we are learning that God expects all of his children throughout the world to lead souls to be saved through the word of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As we continue with the scripture of Jude 123, save others, snatching them out of the fire, and on some have mercy with fear, hating even the garment polluted by the flesh. In this verse, we are instructed to bring others to Jesus no matter where they are in life. It should always be any acquaintances in your life that you reach out to, but the ones that are not acquaintances and no one notices or doesn't reach out to will always find a place in the heart of a true soul champion for God to grow his kingdom of heaven. We are not intended to be alone while we are here or in the eternity of our life. Each individual is a dwelling of faith and each of us must fill his or her portion of the responsibility that is part of being saved as a child of God. Each individual must be diligent in performing his or her duty of sharing the path of salvation with others, whether they are an enemy or a friend. Let's understand clearly, we only have the power to show others how they can obtain salvation through obedience to the Word of God. We can show others how to walk in order to be saved, for we have the right to do that. We have knowledge and understanding as to how to do it, and it is our privilege to teach it. By being an example of Christ among others, wherever we are in the world, but the only person who can truly bring you to Christ is you. Don't miss this. God loves souls so much, he sent his only son, Jesus, as a living sacrifice to take the punishment for all of our sins. The Bible makes it clear that God loved us first. There is nothing God values more highly than the people's souls because they are his children that will be saved and will enter the kingdom of heaven where he has already prepared a place for you to be with him. We love God because he loved us first. And in loving God, we need to love others first. There is a huge need to share the love of God among all people. For we need to hear the truth that God doesn't want anyone to die or perish. But instead, he desires for everyone to come to him in repentance for salvation and eternal life that is just waiting for all of us. Our sole mission is to save, preserve from evil, exalt mankind, bring the light and the truth into the world, prevail upon the people of the earth to walk righteously before God and honor him in their lives. Our purpose is to save the world, save mankind, bring them into harmony with the laws of God and with the principles of righteousness, justice, and the truth that they may be saved in the kingdom of our God. We will not finish our work until we have saved ourselves and then not until we have saved all of those that are depending on us. For we are to become warriors and saviors just like Jesus Christ as we stand beside him in victory. If you have never asked anyone if they want to know Jesus, I want to share with you some bits of wisdom I was blessed with by others. Stand strong in your faith as this is very simple to do and you will bring others to Jesus Christ because of his word living inside of you. There is nothing on earth that gives you the feeling of pleasing God but the fulfillment of the most important thing to him in his kingdom. If you are a soul champion, you are always trying to reach someone to bring to Christ and show them the way 
to eternal life. This is important, so pay attention. This can basically work with anyone that you are speaking to, and it goes something like this. I have a question to ask you, and your opinion is very important to me. Okay, if you died today, are you sure you would go to heaven? I don't know. Well, let me tell you how you will absolutely know. Have you ever met Jesus Christ? This is just an example that works in person or just a conversation and is a great starting place to enter into the subject of Jesus Christ that no person should ever miss out on, which is eternal life and passing death to be in the kingdom of heaven forever with the Father and the Son. Remember, to find the version of you that God has created in you so you can reach out and save others through his words as he saved you. Now we have come to the final thought of this message. By knowing God's love for us, we know how to love others. And that motivates us to share the love of God with them so that they can experience God's fullness. Once we see how precious all the people are to God, we will do all that we can to win them to Jesus Christ. Humanity needs a Savior. For humans cannot save themselves. Always know this. You have a soul that is of greater value than the whole entire world. One of two things will happen to your soul. You will be saved or your soul will be lost forever. I want your soul to be saved. I want you to walk the streets of heaven with me and praise our Lord. Will you join me? Will you come together to know Jesus Christ today, this minute, this second, this moment? One of the most important commitments you can make as a Christian is to read your Bible every day. In each message, we will provide you with a few scriptures to look up and read on your own to plant seeds inside of you for a deeper understanding so you can grow closer to Jesus Christ through his written word. It's time to get your Bible for your growing with God's scriptures, the number one way to please God are Hebrews 11.6, Proverbs 16.7, and Colossians 1.10. I pray that this message creates a path for you to grow closer to Jesus Christ or meet him for the very first time. If you want to receive the guaranteed passage that he has sacrificed himself on the cross for you so you can be saved as a child of God, then become who you are created to be and turn your words into action and read this book so you can have eternal life in the kingdom of heaven that is just waiting for you. Whether you are a Christian or have never met Jesus Christ, the best time for you to grow with God is now. Get your copy of Seeds Growing with God at kingsofchrist.com, Better World Books, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, TBN Trilogy, your local bookstores, and online worldwide.